For me, it was being actively homeless behind a church for about six, seven months. From the transition of fall to winter, and that was miserable. And it was, I mean, it was miserable. One of the nights I'd been outdoors had become damp, and the temperature dropped um, pretty late one night, you know. And it wasn't as easy as, you know, Mom, I'm sorry, knock on the door, let me back home. Because by, by the time I'd become homeless, it was because of my own rebellion. I think the crossover point was, and when I finally hit this point, I meant it, you know, and it hit like below 32 degrees one night, I and mean, I, was, I was freaking out. And I was already wet, and I was, gonna uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, this isn't good for me. There's an area over behind that church where there's a bunch of buildings, and one of them's in the shape of a C. And it's just, it's like hallways and doors to little classrooms and a library kind of a thing. And I, I said, please get me out of here. And they were always locked. But that night, there was one door that was unlocked on one of them. And I opened the door and this heat hit me. And it was like 84 degrees. <laughs> and I was like, and I stopped for a second. I'm like, no way. Hold on a second. I said, I'm trespassing, but yet I'm in the house of the Lord. And I'm, I'm, I'm going through all these mental calculations and triage. What do I do here? And uh, I went inside. There was a desk there that had this black sheet that had a throw thing over the top. I actually flipped the sheets up, got under it, and just crashed. I actually went to sleep. Balled my eyes out all night long, dude.